Oh, it looks so much better when the brake lights go off. Oh, never mind. Yo, what's up guys? This is a video for my old subs. I'm just letting you guys know what I've been up to for the last five years. Or new subs if you want to know, that's cool too. I won't stop you, but uh, I just got back from Dairy Queen and they fucked up my order. So let's go back to Dairy Queen, get my burger, come for a ride. I'll fill you in, let you know what's up. I just got new shoes, so I'm still untying them and tying them up every time I put them on. That'll last about a week before I start shoving them on my foot and destroying them. Yeah, Dairy Queen fucked up my order. I ordered two burgers and a wrap. I got one burger and a wrap, so. It's not even the money or the food or anything like that. It's just like, I don't feel like going all the way back out into the city and driving around and stuff, you know? I just, it's just, I don't feel like driving out back into the city. Like I got home, I was ready to eat my food and then it wasn't there. It was just heartbreaking. You know, I'm lazy. I don't feel like going out. It's only like a 10 minute drive, not even. Five minutes, you'll see, but <clears throat> still. Still, I'm gonna complain. It's my right to complain. All right, guys, a little dark in here. I should crank up the exposure, but no. Once we get out of my parking lot, it'll probably just be all good. All right, so we're off to Dairy Queen. And I'm gonna get my burger that I've already, they did charge me for it too, by the way, if you're wondering. Otherwise I might let it go. No, I wouldn't, I'm hungry, I want my burger. If I didn't pay for the burger, then maybe I would let it go. You know, I'm not that hungry, but I did pay for it and I am kind of fucking hungry. So we're going back to Dairy Queen, boys. I have craft dinner upstairs, I don't wanna eat that shit. Not tonight. I'm not a snob or anything. I can live off craft dinner if I have to. Just not all the time. I want a burger, okay? Stop judging. Whew. All right, boys, let's roll. You know what, I should turn on my lights. Is my nipple hanging out? Oh my God, that is so embarrassing. Should I keep that in the video? I think so. But just in case, we're gonna do another pull reverse. <laughs> just in case you need to cut that out. Jesus. Wow. All right, boys, let's go. All right, wow, geez, this thing's really over here, eh? All right. All right, we need to do one more fucking reverse. I'm wasting fuel here. All right, boys, let's pull out for the first time. Nip pull is in. We are good to go. And hey, I'm gonna turn my lights on. Something a good driver would do. All right, so in 2014, I went to rehab. And I took a bit of a, a break from my channel at that point. But then after I got out of rehab, I started uh, YouTubing again. That was like the second revival of my channel. And then that lasted about a year. And then I sort of uh, just stopped uploading after that. And I haven't really uploaded uh, up until now. And so yeah, it was about five years, I guess, was the gap. And what, I, what have I been up to in that time? Huh. You know, it was probably the shittiest period of my life, I would say. Hmm, what did I do? I didn't do a lot, you know? Jeez, my nipple's out again, my God. Does that happen all the time? Christ. Uh, anyways, yeah, the last five years, I haven't been up to much, to be honest. It was a very difficult five years. Because once you quit a drug, you're just left to deal with whatever was causing you to use that drug in the first place, which, you know, is usually like depression or something like that. In my case, yes, depression and uh, a whole bunch of other reasons, I guess, that are all 
related to depression at the end of the day. So, yeah, when I quit meth, it was just like, oh shit, now I gotta be an adult and I gotta learn to live like a normal person, which, you know, I'm in my mid to late 20s and I haven't even lived like a normal adult yet. So I had to like learn it all on the fly. Also, I just hate patterns and routine and all that shit. And the life of a drug addict is just so the opposite of that. So when you quit drugs, it's like you gotta, you know, it's like, damn, it's like right back to work. <laughs> difficult. Oh shit, what's this up here? Car accident. Oh boy. Serious car accident. Play it cool, guys, play it cool. Anyways, um, sorry, I just didn't want to be talking about like my meth addiction when there was like a whole bunch of police standing right outside my window. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I got out of uh, rehab, uh, YouTube for a year, and then it sort of fizzled out. And then after that, I just went into a really deep depression, a different kind of depression than when I was an addict, you know? At least I was high then. So this was more like just uh, soul-crushing depression that stemmed a lot from boredom. You know, when you use crystal meth for such a long time, your brain thinks that's what happy is. So then when you, you know, you, you're thrust back into reality and your brain's like, yo, where's all the dopamine at? It just, you can't enjoy anything. Everything is awful. And uh, it's just not a good time. And I felt like my life was gonna be like that forever. And so I relapsed once or twice. And then there was a long period where I thought, you know, I'm either gonna be a meth addict or just a totally depressed person for the rest of my life. And that was a very depressing realization I came to. I was wrong though, thankfully, you know. There is light at the end of the tunnel, eventually. A little bit of light, tiny bit. Not, you know, tons of light or anything, but it's enough. And uh, so a few years ago, I uh, enrolled myself into a university program for plant health. I'm working on my four year degree for that. I'm halfway through that right now. I'm taking a semester off. And basically I wanna work in Canada's cannabis industry, which is a new, legal industry here in Canada. Um, you know, I've always loved plants and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me because it's a new industry. So there's lots of jobs and it's all fresh and all that and exciting. Plus I like weed, so that's cool too. Um, anyways, that's pretty much what I've been up to in five years. Literally, it was like three years of me just doing nothing and just being miserable and hating life. And then one day I sort of forced myself to take out a student loan and just go through all the motions, you know, do all the paperwork and all that bureaucratic shit involved with enrolling in a university. And it wasn't that bad, you know? Fill out a few forms and then bada bing, bada boom whatever <laughs> it's the first time I've ever said that in my life bada bing bada boom but uh yeah pretty much was bada bing bada boom next thing you know what I'm sitting in class learning about leaves and stuff I have a goal I want to get into sustainability um, in particular as it relates to the cannabis industry because it's a very wasteful industry as it is and uh, I figure there's lots of opportunities to improve it, seeing how it's new and all that. And uh, basically, I just want a nice cushy office job, a research job where I'm not lifting heavy shit all day. I'm willing to put into work, you know, five, 10 years of labor, sure, I'll do that. But when I'm 40, you know, I, want, I don't wanna be lifting shit and 
I want I want to make money with my mind, not with my hands. I heard someone say that once. It sounded really cool. So uh, when I just said it, now it didn't sound cool though. It sounded lame. Oh yeah, they don't know I'm coming, so I gotta explain to them that they fucked up my order. Like I called them, I just said, I look crazy right now. I just realized that. I don't want them to think I'm filming them. It's like pointed right at the takeout window. But I also want you guys to listen to my interaction. There, that works, right? Yeah, it's very discreet. So what else did I do in the last five years? Hi, Mark. I'm taking over with you one moment, please. Sure, thank you. Yeah, nothing important or I would have remembered, you know. Hi, welcome to G2. Can I take your order? Yeah, hi. Uh, I was in a bit earlier. I called in. Uh, you guys messed up my order. It was missing a quarter pound ultimate grill burger. Sorry, I can't hear you too well. Could you uh, slow down a little bit, please? Yeah, sure. I called in earlier. Uh, you guys messed up my order. Oh, you guys, we messed up your order? Yeah, uh, it was oh. missing the quarter pound oh. ultimate grill oh, burger. Um, no worries. So what did we get wrong? It's just missing uh, a quarter pound ultimate grill burger. Uh, sorry, it's where are you, Bindi? Can we just uh, talk at the window? Yeah, that works. Thank you. Sure. They can't hear me. Was I not loud and, and, and clear? I'm gonna roll up my window so I can speak freely. Obviously there's something wrong with their speaker system. I was just yelling at that guy and he's like, I can't hear a word you're saying. And then the first woman earlier tonight, I'm like, yeah, I want two of these burgers and then two wraps. Two of these and then two of those. And she's like, okay. But no, not okay. Not okay, Dustin wants his burger. Anyway, I'm getting my burger. But no, what's annoying is they're not making it right now while I'm in line because he couldn't hear me. So I got to get to the window, tell them. Oh, it looks so much better when the brake lights go off. Oh, never mind. I'm not even joking. They better throw in some sort of like smoothie, like uh, maybe like a snow cone or something if they got them. I don't know. Some sort of ice cream treat, you know, for my plight. Oh, hey. Hello. Yeah, it was uh, a quarter pound grill burger the ultimate. that was missing. The ultimate. That's right. The ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That lady knows what's up. That lady's like, oh, you, you're the one that missed the uh, quarter pound ultimate grill burger, right? I'm like, lady, where were you in the beginning? You should have been the one to, to take my order. Everyone else is like, the, the quarter ultimate grill what burger? The, what? This lady's just calm, cool, collected. Yo, you're the one with the quarter pound ultimate grill burger missing, right? I'll be right up with your order, sir. Sorry for your plight. She didn't say that. That was me who said that. Plight. No one says the word plight. But me. Alright, so... I really thought I could talk about five years of my life in a five minute drive to the local fast food chain, but apparently so little has happened in the last five years. All I can really say is uh, it was shitty for a while and then I, I started going to school and then it got okay. Now there's a lot more I gotta say about addiction and recovery, but I'm doing a, uh, uh, an entire video dedicated to that after this. So I don't want to talk too much about the addiction. Hi, are you ready for the uh, Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like this kid's like first day on the job. He's just like, open the window all frantic. So, were you the one waiting for the burger? Dude, chill. Lady's got it taken care of. 
now they're peeking. I just saw them peeking into my car. They're like, is that a camera? That's right, I'm, I'm doing a vlog. Get me my burger. <laughs> I'm not even hungry anymore. You know, like when you don't eat for so long, your stomach shrinks and then you can't eat? That's what happened. I'm gonna sue them for that. Stomach shrinkage, it's a real crime in my book. I paid them, that's the thing, you know? I paid them, they got my money. And my stomach's shrinking, they got my money? Shrink my stomach? Ain't, ain't cool. Always check your drive through order before you leave. Don't check it when you get home. Cause someone making that little money and that shitty of a job is not gonna care enough to get your order right 100% of the time. And I'm not even mad at that, that's understandable. It's my fault, I should've checked the fucking thing before I left. Fast food, this is not fast food, this is like <laughs> medium paced food at best. There's like 30 cars behind me. Just make the grill burger, the quarter pound ultimate grill burger. I have no idea what I'm ordering at Wendy's. They all look the same. You want the half pound deluxe or the quarter pound or this, that, that. They all look the same. Just different combinations of bread and meat. Some have bacon, some don't. I said, oh, that one looks good. And it says ultimate in it, so. Although this is the ultimate burger on the menu, but there's other burgers that are more expensive and higher up, so obviously it's not ultimate. Hey, thanks a lot, no worries. Oh, cool, sure. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Uh, see, I told you that lady was the fucking MVP. Give her a goddamn raise. She comes out, big smile on her face. She says, well, no, she didn't have a smile on her face. She was very aware of the situation. It wasn't nothing to smile about. She comes out, she, says, she looks concerned. She says, I'm so sorry about that. Here's your burger. And uh, she's got a little dilly bar for me as well. I told, I said they should have had, they need an ice cream treat for me or I'm going to be an angry customer. And, uh, hey, look, it paid off. I hope they fuck up my order more often so I can go hungry all night and then just drive around the city at 1030 without wanting to at all. So I can get free dilly bars. <laughs> totally, totally, uh, made up for it. Oh wow, the cops are gone already. What? There was like a big accident scene there. If not seven minutes ago. It's all cleaned up and... Just, just, okay, all right, wow. That is an efficient cleanup crew. My God. All right. Oh yeah, what is it? Friday or Saturday? I think it's Friday. Everyone's at the bar, I just realized. It just seems like such a quiet night tonight for some reason. And then I realized, oh no, everyone's out doing stuff but me. <laughs> I'm doing stuff, I'm getting my burger and my free dilly bar and I'm, I'm vlogging to you guys. That's stuff. I mean, it qualifies as stuff. I am doing stuff. You know, <laughs> I do stuff on the weekends. Not very good stuff or very, um, oh. Oh, I, my God, I took that corner a little too sharp. Everyone's okay. I was worried about my camera, not you guys. All right. Time to enjoy my burger. Well, try to enjoy my burger with my shrunken stomach. Not possible. But you know, once you take that first bite, it like unshrinks the stomach. And then it's like, oh yeah, I really am fucking hungry, aren't I? Oh, there's some people. God damn, everyone in my building. Oh wow, there's people everywhere down here tonight. It's a party in the parkade. A parkade party. There's just three people. Okay, we made it, you guys. 
That was a really poorly thought out video I just realized. You know, I'm sure there's tons of shit I could, and my head's like cut off. I know that. But I just realized there's tons of shit I could have said about the last five years. And my nipple is out again? No, not quite. Or it is, it's just, you can't see it in the shadow. My God, okay. I'm gonna have to shrink this tank top somehow if I can. I'm gonna put it in the hot washing machine. Hey, I only got 30 seconds left in my video before it auto shuts off for some stupid reason. It has to do with something like a law that cameras have to shut off after 30 minutes. I Googled it. It's a stupid reason, trust me. Something to do with the European like trade union or something crazy like that. All right, I gotta shut this off now, legally. Okay, I'm just realizing how poor fitting this tank top is now. <laughs> Maybe a size too big, hence all the nip slips. That's okay, I'll just get stronger. All right, we're home. I got my dilly bar and I got my quarter pound ultimate grill burger. I know the name of it now. Is that underwear in the blue bin? That's weird. That's a weird, I mean, I guess that's what you do with old clothes is you discard them, but it just seems weird right on top like that. Yeah, anyways, uh, I guess I'll conclude the video unless you guys want to come in, see the place, you know, have a cup of coffee, you know, sex, that's code word for sex. We're gonna have sex. <laughs> and we're home. It's so blue in here. All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. I'm gonna go enjoy my dilly bar and my burger that I've been waiting to eat for like five hours now. If I can even fit it into that shrunken stomach of mine, I don't know. Anyways, another nip slip for uh, good measure and uh, I'll talk to you soon. My next vlog won't be uh, like a month away, you know. I'm gonna try to do it more regular. Uh, by the way, I've been working on that how Daphne and I met video but I'm trying to do that not like a vlog. It's gonna be sort of like a short movie and it's taking a lot more work than I realized. I'm gonna make it nice though, <clears throat> nice though for you guys. So it's gonna be worth it and all that shit. So, all right, peace out guys. Have a good one, cheers. Look guys, I feel like in a way, this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. That could have gone better, less disgusting. Also, I forgot to get the pickles off of there. I don't like pickles on my burger. There's, that was gross, I'm sorry. All right guys, you know what? I feel like in a way, this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. That was not very elegant. Okay, as long as there's nothing in my mustache, that would have been gross, right? We're good though. Burger's not that great, to be honest. But that's okay. All right, you guys, I feel like in a way, this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. Mm, mm, mm. I think my stomach's gonna be okay. I don't think it shrank too much. Excuse me, I ate with my mouth open. All right, guys. In a way, this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. We went and picked it up together. We, well, we didn't buy it together. That was my, this is my burger actually. You know what, fuck off. All right guys, I feel like in a way this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. Mmm, mmm, pretty good, right guys? All right guys, I feel like in a way this is our quarter pound ultimate grill burger. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna sauce in my finger. Oh, that worked out perfectly. That old lady was so sweet. Do you want a dilly bar too? I'm like, hell yes. Thank you.